Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, let's talk about kid birthday parties. Are they the same? Are they different? New Zealand to the US? Well, we're gonna find out today. We're gonna check it out. So I'm gonna take you on a trip on my kid's birthday party and talk a little bit about what I've noticed the differences because I've had four kids. And so I know what the birthday parties are like in the US and I know what they're like in New Zealand. So let's talk about it today. So stay tuned, subscribe below, hit the bell. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a great all-in-one platform to get your business online quickly. All right, well, it's a cracker of a day here in Wellington, as they say in New Zealand. Look at me learning the terminology. But yeah, so do you like my glasses? My teenagers think I look ridiculous in these, but you know, they were a whole $5. <laughs> anyway, Today, we are going to take my son on his uh, birthday trip with some friends. We're going to go to Mission Inflatable, which is this huge inflatable place, but it's really big. So I really like this one. So I think we're going to have a really good time. And it's just a beautiful day out. And so I thought I would do a video on the differences of kid birthday parties in New Zealand compared to the US. And are they different? Are they the same? You know, what's different? What's the same? And so I'm just going to highlight a couple of them for you here before everybody gets in the car and it becomes really loud and it's a lot of kids. So basically, uh, the food, I would say, is quite different. So at like a kid birthday party, you're going to see fairy bread. If you don't know what fairy bread is, it's literally just white bread with some butter on it and some sprinkles, certain sprinkles, like the round sprinkles, I believe. I feel, I feel like you can't put the other ones on there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but fairy bread <laughs> is a common at a kid birthday party. They also have these Cheerios, which are these, there's another name for them, can't think of it, but it's like a, a really red hot dog, it's small, and you just like pick it up and eat it. I don't know, I think you eat it hot, cold, I think it'd go either way. It's a, it actually tastes the most like an American hot dog of anything that I've tried, but it is so red that it's hard to eat. And so that you see at kid birthday parties, obviously you'll see chips. They also have like the kiwi dip, which is uh, like, uh, you know, just like an onion soup mix with um, some cream. And that's always really good. <laughs> and so, yeah, so they have that and like maybe some soda and cake and ice cream and you know, and there's variety and sausage rolls. Sausage rolls are big, like mini little um, pies maybe, uh, that sort of thing at a New Zealand kid birthday party. So at an American kid birthday party, you're gonna have, <laughs> it's gonna be a wide variety depending on where you live in the country, but like think hot dogs. But then if, they're, if you have a family that's really vegan and healthy, it's gonna be no sugar, gonna be no dairy no eggs or whatever you know you kind of always have to be aware of that because people can be quite sensitive about making sure that that is there or at least you know some people some pe moms are fine and they just like pack something separate for their kid if they have allergies and others are are you gonna provide vegan for us is it gonna be is it gonna have sugar in it you know so I would say before the rise of peanut allergies and vegan, vegetarian, and dairy, you know, allergies, I think would be like hot dogs, soda, you know, chips. Uh, you know, you know what they have in America that they don't have here that you see at parties is, what is it called? A fruit pizza. Have you ever heard of a fruit pizza? So basically it's awesome. It's like a sugar cookie is the crust. That's the crust of the pizza. Then you have like this cream cheese sugary spread that you put on top of that and then you just cut up fresh fruit and you put it on and it's like a dessert pizza so it's like a they call it fruit pizza but it's a dessert pizza that's fun that's a fun party so it all depends probably on the age of your kid but you know it's just like your typical snacks like doritos or pringles and um you know and also have cake and ice cream and then some people in america you know go all out and have like big huge parties I don't know about you, but I have been putting off creating my website until I found my solution with Squarespace. 
You guys are going to love this product. They have so many beautiful templates to choose from. You just pick your template and then you go in and just add the details of your business. And literally within one day, I was able to get my website up and running. Another feature that I love on Squarespace is that they have this social sharing where my community can just go right out into my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel, which is where most of my uh, content exists. And so it's really nice that I can connect directly from Squarespace. Other features that Squarespace offers that are really great is their, the fact that you can collect donations, you can do email campaigns from it. It's just overall really great. I personally also love the analytics. I always like to know what's going on behind the scenes, who's really um, reaching me on my webpage, and that's just such a nice feature as well. I highly recommend that you check out Squarespace. Take some time today to go to squarespace.com and check out your free trial. And then when you're ready to purchase your website or your domain, you get 10% off with the link below. I would say in terms of what you do at a party in New Zealand compared to the US isn't a huge difference, but I would say a little bit different. Like what I noticed because I have four kids and I, so I've been to a lot of birthday parties in America. And then when I came and we got invited to birthday parties here, what I really liked about New Zealand is that they always had um, the kids doing something. Like it, it was very common to say, let's have a birthday party, you know, at the laser tag place or where we're gonna go bowling or we're gonna go outside and do this climbing activity, whatever it was, was always active, which I really liked because I feel like in the States, it was more like for us, you know, and then it could just be where I lived, but like it would just be going to someone's house or, you know, so I would take, uh, my kids and some friends to something, you know, like maybe to a play or, you know, depending on what they liked. Uh, I definitely took my son to like a baseball game. Like that would be normal because sporting events are fun and there's always a lot of them. Um, but yeah, but I don't, I wouldn't say that that was more of the norm where I feel like in New Zealand, more of the norm is to actually go out and do something and get the kids tired and da 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 da, which is really smart. Cause you really don't want, like, I don't want like, Last year, true story, last year I had, I don't know, six or seven different boys at my house that were, what, eight or nine years old? No, I'm not doing that again. Going out and doing an activity where you're burning energy, that's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> yes, because I was so exhausted after that. And I actually went and had a parent-teacher conference after that and talked to them like, I appreciate all that you do. I don't know how you have 30 of these. I had six of them for two hours and I was like, oh my gosh, you know? Because <laughs> my kids are relatively calm and I forget that probably not everybody is like that. <laughs> and so that was a bit of a shock. But anyway, so birthday parties, New Zealand, US, a lot similar and a little bit of difference. So let's go on our trip to Mission Inflatable. survived mission inflatable i'm not sure my knee did but we'll see what tomorrow brings the boys are really tired so that mission was accomplished and it was just a great day out so if you enjoy this content subscribe below and check out my new webpage kiwiamericans.com and my new recipe book but also thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys next week